Hello, beautiful people. I am straight chillin'. I got really irritated by the traffic. I was, I wanted to record this video and it was so loud and it was irritating me. So I just swept around a building to relax by a tree so I could do this video while I wait on Ty. Um, great, and that would be a wasp. Thank you wasp for showing yourself, but I might relocate. Okay, I've re relocated. I love nature, but right now I don't have the temperament to... Honestly, I just don't. I don't... Right now I'm feeling very emotional and stuff, so I don't really even want to deal with anything that could possibly stress me out. So, um... <laughs> I had an amazing experience this morning. This video is going to be about the body body talk especially for women and this video is mainly for twin flames those who deem themselves twin flames those who are open to experiencing the journey of the twin flame experience um where do i begin so yes body talk i'm going to touch on this briefly but because I really do want to share how amazing and in tune it is with the energies of this week, the cosmic energies of this week. And I hope to dive into this so much more for my podcast. You know, there's so much to talk about in the podcast, and I know I say it a lot. And I, I'm saying that to you guys for a reason, because there really is so much to talk about. Um, and Body Talk will be one of them especially for women, women healing themselves, body talk, tuning into your body and how your body is talking to you. Um, don't mind me messing with my hair. I left in conditioner, so I'm just messing with it. So this morning, um, I woke up with some uh, tightness in my left leg. And tightness in my left leg and my left foot. And I expected this because I was starting to experience this the past few days, which is surprising to me, yet not so surprising. Because I've been working on my right side. I've been working on healing my right side, <laughs> my masculine side. And, um, one or two weeks ago when Ty and I went to our, our Cairo and he uh, gave me e-stem and put the patches on my back, you know, he put it on the left and right side of my back. But what shocked me, and I'm dead serious, what shocked me is that I was feeling excruciating deep pain in my left side, my left upper here and I was so shocked I was like what the fuck where is this coming from like I didn't even realize I was in pain on my left side I didn't realize I was in pain there I've been you know focused on healing my right side my right shoulder my right leg and so I was in shock I was like how this is fucking crazy I mean me of all people like it's just so funny because I talk about the divine feminine and self-love I was like how how could I have been so focused on my masculine that I've neglected my feminine side and didn't realize that I was in pain. <laughs> so it was really fucking funny, honestly. So, but it, it brought up stuff for me to tap into to see what was stored there, which I will get into more later. So this morning, I laid out my yoga mat in the front yard and I start, you know, gently moving my body and stretching her and everything like that. And just bringing prana into these areas where I felt resistance and pain and speaking to my body letting her know that she can let go that is okay to release it's okay to forgive it's okay to trust it's okay and that it's okay to move forward because anything having to do with your your feet your knees your thighs your hip area this all has to do with moving forward. You know, when we walk, it is our feet. It is our legs that move us. And they are what 
moves us forward physically. We can't move unless we have our feet and we have to kick out our feet first. Actually, you, uh, when I read, you actually have to move your hip and then your leg throws out and your feet touch the ground first. So it's really interesting how everything in the lower part is connected and what it really means. But it all has to do with moving forward, trust, uh, being certain or uncertain, things like that. And, and so what was coming up for me when I tapped into my left side was the, um, I was tapping into some pain and sadness and stress and doubt from last year. Last year was very challenging and transformative for me and Ty and you know there are so many times that I got scared and that I had doubts and um and quite frankly I think there were times when I <laughs> wanted to be the runner in the dynamic and um and so I was really, when I tuned into my body, I was feeling these areas where I felt extreme sadness. And sadness, just this, uh, it's so hard to describe, but, and it felt very feminine, like uh, just a sadness and, um, and fear. And so I was gently telling my body, telling my left side, my feminine side, that it's okay it's everything is okay was okay and is okay now and it's okay to trust the masculine side it's okay to trust the right side of the body that the right side of the body is going to support the other half the left side that the right side is strong and has been healed and worked on and is sturdy it had, there's a sturdy foundation i can't wait to talk about all that like the, the body work I've been doing this year it's amazing and it, it all has to do with my feet and my legs and spine so I was letting my feminine side know that everything's okay you know the masculine side's got you and I thought that was so beautiful when I realized it because really that's so reflective of the feminine me the divine feminine and trusting the divine masculine Trusting my counterpart, trusting Ty, and we are in this crazy whirlwind of change right now. But it's so, so beautiful, too. That I mean, all this, this false stuff is completely being ripped away, um, which is amazing. And, you know, we are being called to have faith, and we're, but we're watching all this beautiful stuff manifest right before our eyes. And... And, um, so we got that going on and just, there's like this, uh, harmony, this union that obviously needs to take place. Right. And, um, my body as well. <laughs> Sorry. Um, the beautiful thing about this. This is why I was like, man, I gotta make a video. I know I'm a little cranky right now, but I need to make a video. I need to make this quick because I'm running out of time. You gotta check out the Twin Flame forecast. Yesterday, yesterday, Mercury, which is the planet of the mind communication, went into the, the sign of emotion, cancer. And we have a new moon today. I, forgot, I don't know exact time, but the new moon, and the moon is the planet of emotion. The new moon is going into the sign of Gemini, which is of the mind and thinking. So these two planets are switching places. Let me repeat that. Mercury is going into Cancer, the sign of emotion into a realm of emotion, the heart. And the planet of emotion is going into the sign, the realm of thinking. So this week, and, and the, this is a new moon, so that means for the rest of the month, this is all about harmonizing the mind and the heart, the masculine and the feminine. Let that blow your mind for a minute. 
that's how I'm going to end this video. Take care. Go read that Twin Flame forecast. It's amazing. Or don't. Do whatever you'd like. I wanted to say before I go, as always, thank you for being here. Have a beautiful moment, day, night, wherever you are in the world. Namaste. Mitakawe oyasin. Aroha noi. Bye, guys.